I was multiplying. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And I want to divide by that thing, the whole thing that's in front. So I'm actually going to divide by negative 2. And I have to do that on both sides. The reason I chose negative 2 is so that I know that that's going to end up being 1 when you divide by the exact same thing. So I'm left with y, though. Just the numbers in front become 1. And now I have a positive divided by a negative. So that's going to be negative, and that's going to be negative 1. Now, again, that's only half of my point of intersection. So that means I need to solve for the x part. Again, I can choose whichever equation I want. So I'm going to choose a. So I'm going to write it down, 4x minus 5y equals 7. And now I want to substitute in y is equal to negative 1. So I have 4x minus 5, but instead of y, I'm writing negative 1. And then I write the 7. So now I have to do the math and the algebra to solve for x to isolate for it. So 4x, I have negative 5 times negative 1. That's going to be positive 5. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. And that's equal to 7 because I just brought that down. Now I need to get rid of this term, so I'm going to subtract 5. But whatever I do on one side, I must do on the other. So that ends up being 0. And I'm left with 4x equals 7 minus 5, which is 2. And then I have to divide by 4 because that is going to get rid of the number in front. So I get actually x is equal to a half, which is 0 0.5 as a decimal, or you can leave it as 1 over 2. But you'll probably find a half in a decimal easier to do for the checking. So the x is 0 0.5 and the y is negative 1. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's check it out with a. a is 4x minus 5y. That is the left side. The right side is 7. So I don't really have to do anything with the right side. So x is a half, or 0 0.5, and y is negative 1. So I sub those in with brackets, and now I do the math. On your calculator, 4 times 0.5 is going to be 2. Check it out. Make sure you get the right answer. Negative times a negative is a positive, and that's going to be positive 6. No, oh, why did I say positive 6? I keep adding those up. Negative times a negative is a positive, and 5 times 1 is just 5, and 2 plus 5 is 7. I've seen that 7 before. Left side equals right side. Check. You got it right. You can go ahead and do it with the other side. With B, the right side is negative 4x. Negative 4x plus 3y, and the Sorry, that's the left side. The right side is just going to be equal to negative 5. So let's see what this ends up being. Negative 4 times a half plus 3 times negative 1. So negative 4 times a half, that gives us negative 2. And a positive times a negative is going to be negative, And 3 times 1 is 3. On your calculator, I have a negative number, and I'm subtracting some more negatives. That gives me negative 5. So left side equals right side. Check. And there we go. So those are your three methods, graphing, substitution, elimination. How do you decide for elimination? You should check the numbers in front and see if there's also one that you can multiply easily to get them to be the same. We'll look at that closer on the exam review.